Thank you for watching this tier systems tutorial. In this video, we'll cover the functionality of Alvalera integration. Alvalera is a tax compliance software package that integrates with many business applications, including Deer. Deer's integration with Alvalera means that Deer customers can calculate actual taxes of sales, going to specified shipping addresses directly from within the system. For tax exempt customers, sales will also reflect zero taxes paid. Alvalera integration is currently available for Deer business users in the US and Canada. The Alvalera integration page in Deer will only show up for customers based in these countries. There are some important things to consider with regards to Alvalera integration. To have access to Alvalera integration page, Deer users with organizations based in the USA and that have already integrated QuickBooks Online with Deer must have Auto Tax Lookup enabled. Zero organizations connected with Deer must not have enabled Alvalera integration. If Alvalera is integrated with Deer and the B2B portal is connected to Deer, taxes are calculated on the B2B checkout page based on Avalara's data. In Deer Pause, all taxes will be calculated based on the Deer Pause sale tax or outlet sale tax. Deer Pause does not depend on Alvalara integration. Now let's look at integrating Deer with Alvalara. There are differences between integrating Alvalara for Deer accounts connected to QuickBooks and Xero, and Deer accounts that are not connected to the two systems. First, let's see how to integrate Deer accounts connected to QuickBooks or Xero. The process for integrating Deer accounts with Alvalara is simple. If Deer has also been integrated with QuickBooks and Xero, navigate to the Integrations module and select Alvalara. On the Alvalara integration page, the Settings tab is open by default. Enter your Alvalara account ID and license key, which you can find on Alvalara admin page. Then click Save. Now let's see how to integrate non-QuickBooks or Xero connected Deer accounts. Navigate to the Integrations module and select Alvalara. In the Settings tab, enter your Alvalara account ID and license key and click on Connect to Alvalara. Next, you can select the relevant Alvalara company by enabling the Report to Tax Authority button. The system will start syncing orders from Deer or from any sales channels activated in your account to Alvalara. By default, this toggle button will be set to No, which means if it's not enabled, Deer or the sales channels will not be syncing anything over. When you toggle this setting to Yes, more additional settings will appear on the screen, which are Export sales from Deer Pause. Export sales from Deer B2B. And if you have sales channels activated in your account, the export options from those sales channels will appear. For instance, I have activated Magento 2 in Deer in my Deer account. And as you can see, the export sales from Magento 2 option is displayed. When the toggle buttons of these settings are switched to Yes, data from Pause. B2B and the relevant sales channels will be sent to Alvalera. By clicking on the Validate Addresses button, the system will validate the origin addresses, as in where you will be sending goods from. These addresses will be obtained from the Locations and Bins area under the Reference Book section. If you have multiple locations listed in this area, the system will check against the addresses set up in each location via Google API. If there are any issues, you will get an error upon clicking this button. Finally, click Save Changes to save your settings for the integration. Once Deer and Alvalera are integrated, you can totally map Alvalera tax codes to the product in Deer via the Alvalera integration page. On this page, click the Tax Codes tab to open the Tax Codes window, where a list of your products with their product SKUs and names from Deer and the tax codes from Alvalera are displayed. Look for the products to be edited. You can use the search box to search by SKU or product name. Once you find the product to be edited, click its Alvalera tax code to enable it for editing and select the new tax code for the product. Some products may have reduced or no tax associated with them. If there are no tax codes mapped for the products listed on this page, 
then the system will map a default Alvalera tax code. If you have tax-exempt customers set up in Alvalera, you need to enter the customer code from DEER in the customer's exemption record in Alvalera so that all sales in DEER will reflect the customer's tax-exempt status. On Alvalera, go to Exemptions and create a new or edit an existing customer. In the Customer Code field, you should enter the same customer name value provided in the Customer Name field. Also note that the value you enter as the customer name in Alvalera should match with the value you entered as the customer name in DEER. Add an exemption for the customer using the Add an Exemption button. Once you've set up the exemption record, all further sales in DEER from the tax-exempt customer will have a zero tax calculated. Sales orders in DEER can be synchronized with Alvalera. Any updates to sale orders in DEER means that data in Alvalera related to these orders is also updated during the synchronization process. Go to the Alvalera integration page in DEER and click the Synchronization tab. On the Synchronization page, a list of sales tasks that will be or have been synchronized with Alvalera will be displayed. The status, date, and what to sync, and any error or comments of each sale task on the list are shown. You can filter the list by status or entities. You can also use the search box to perform a search by sale number or customer name. Once you're satisfied with the list, click Start Synchronization. Note that clicking the Refresh button on the Synchronization page refreshes the list of sales with the latest data from DEER. Now, let's create a new sale from the Sales module. And as you can see, when you create a new sale, the tax rule will be automatically populated from El Valera. And when you select a USA shipping address and authorize a quote, you will see the USA tax rate has been added to the product. Let's authorize the order and invoice. Navigate to Avalara integration page and start the synchronization. When the sync is completed, go to Avalara and select the relevant company on the page displayed to you. You can now see the invoice that you have authorized before it has come through. And you will be able to view all the tax information on this page. You can also see the ship from address which flows through the location settings under Dear Reference Books, and the customer's ship to address, and many more details. This concludes the El Valera integration tutorial. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact support at deersystems.com.